A new study finds people are more than twice as likely to survive a cardiac arrest if they get CPR. Fox Wars' Laurie Brown tells us how a University Park husband's basic knowledge of CPR saved his wife's life. Colin, you want some toast with your eggs? Every little moment in life is now precious for Marla Sewell, a mother of four. I wake up grateful each and every day that I'm here. Sewell, an avid runner and tennis player, never imagined she was a candidate for sudden cardiac arrest. But four years ago on Labor Day weekend, it happened to her. She was staying up to watch the U.S. Open after her husband had gone to bed. And the peak of training for the Chicago Marathon, she had run 20 miles earlier that day in the Texas heat and played in a tennis tournament. The evening that I wasn't feeling good, I must have come in here and to take a shower and turned on the water. As I was leaning over to adjust the uh, faucet, I fell head first underneath the water with my head facing up. Her husband, Carrie Sewell, believes divine intervention woke him up. He heard water running. And as I walked towards the bathroom itself, um, the carpet was soaking wet. Then he saw his wife underwater. And she was blue. Carrie Sewell had not had a CPR class in years. Just started screaming at her, you know, um, and then started CPR immediately. Um, so I started pumping her chest, pumping her chest. His thoughts raced. How'd this happen? How'd she get like that? You know, what's it gonna be like for kids and no mom? What seemed like eternity, she kind of gurgled and spit a little bit of water out. Marla Sewell started breathing. I probably didn't do it right. Um, but I did something. 24 hours later, she woke up at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital. I had no idea what had happened. Dr. Gary Weinstein helped treat Marla Sewell. New recommendations found chest compressions alone can save a life. Dr. Weinstein hopes that will encourage more people to learn CPR. If that stranger laying on the sidewalk at the, or at the side of the road it might be you or your family and you really would want somebody to stop and know how to do it properly and be comfortable to try and help your family. Very good. Or as the Sewells learned, it might not be a stranger you need to help. Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.